Pakistan occupied Kashmir which is also called POK normally is generally referred to the north western region of Jammu and Kashmir that is occupied by Pakistan after a series of unfortunate events that happened there are two parts to POK first is the Pakistan controlled Kashmir and other is Gilgit Baltistan to give you an idea how big these areas are all of jammu and kashmir is 2.2 lakh square kilometers out of which 30% that is around 78000 square kilometers is pok and 10% which is 37000 square kilometers is under china so right now india only has 60% of jammu and kashmir let that sink in For information purposes I will have to show different borders of India but I need to tell you that I completely and unconditionally stand with this map of India this is India There are a series of events which finally led to the present line of control like the partition the article of accession treaty of amritsar standstill agreement but Even after all of this in my opinion there are only two reasons for the existence of POK as it is today first Nehru taking Kashmir issue to United Nations which is when the ceasefire line was drawn and on top of that this is my second reason on top of that we retracted our forces from the ceasefire line on 1st January 1949 as per the UN orders even though Pakistan did not this is why the then ceasefire line became the line of control and India lost 30% of Jammu and Kashmir Pakistan occupied Kashmir mostly is occupied with Kashmiris who are now Muslims the Pashtuns the Punjabis and some other ethnic minorities like Balti and Sheena people in both areas of POK the Gilgit Baltistan and Pakistan controlled Kashmir there is a heavy presence of extremist groups and the training camps of anti India and pro Pakistan forces As recent as May 2024 the residents of Pakistan occupied Kashmir were heavily protesting on the streets in various cities like Muzaffarabad Sehensa Mirpur Rawalkot Khuiratta Tattapani Hatianbala these cities might not mean a lot to you but they were all protesting against the rising inflation and lack of amenities provided by the administration they wanted to merge with india and that i think is the diplomatic victory for india so the natural next question to ask is why can't india just take pok so there are a few reasons for it first it is hard to access that area due to the mountainous terrain second india always had a no first attack policy so to militarily take over pok india has to wait for pakistan to open a war front third China's one belt one road initiative and CPEC initiatives relies on POK to remain under Pakistan's control. China has invested 50 billion dollars if not more in China Pakistan Economic Corridor CPEC which allows China direct access to Gwadar and Karachi ports. And the fourth reason is Pakistan, India and China all three countries are nuclear powers and as per NTI Pakistan has 200 80 kilograms of weapon grade plutonium stockpile this could have drastic consequences the first and foremost reason for india to take pok which trumps any other reason is that that region is occupied by pakistan as the name suggests it is occupied by pakistan and that is where indians draw the line that enough is enough we've already lost afghanistan pakistan bangladesh nepal bhutan but no more this is it this is the main reason Other reasons are its key geographical location with abundant fresh water supply along with gold chalk graphite bauxite another reason is that it can connect india to the international north south corridor but the main reason again is that it is india and it is occupied by pakistan so if you're sitting in any other states in india let's say maharashtra which is not directly connected to jammu and kashmir and thinking why does it matter to me if pakistan occupied kashmir is with india or pakistan then here's the answer to that so today india loses 30% of jammu and kashmir let's say tomorrow they choke the chicken neck and you lose all seven states would you still have the same opinion what if slowly slowly all the states are taken and only maharashtra is left would you wait until then would you be able to live in maharashtra then just by illegally occupying 30% of our land of one state look at the havoc that they have caused go watch kashmir files 
go watch this video to understand the history of all the genocides the suffering was unimaginable and our soldiers are still suffering don't wait for this cancer to reach your home act now because today who are suffering are hoping that you will help them because tomorrow when you are suffering you would hope that somebody else will come and help you let us all stand up for each other before it's too late jai hind jai bharat